Greetings and salutations. Let us talk about our friend, the Ballistic Pendulum. This is our friend, the Ballistic Pendulum. You can tell because it's a pendulum and is vaguely ballistic. This is going to launch things. So there's a couple parts to this, and I just want to walk through kind of the basics of operating it so you can start thinking about uh, you know, what to do with it more than how to do it. So you'll notice I have poked using the poker a marble out of the block. Having done this, I'm going to pull back the plunger here, load the marble into the cannony thing, make sure this is set to zero, and fire. Ha! Huh. One and done. Look at that. All right. Uh, don't look too carefully at this because I'm going to expect you to actually collect your own data. But what happened in super slow motion was that the bullet marble entered the block and the block slowly climbed to some maximum height and then swung back. Just like that. Now, you might think, what does this have to do with anything? Well, climbing to some height should make us think of something. Once you've thought of that something, continue watching the video. If the something you thought of was gravitational potential energy, you are exactly right. Now, it climbed because it had some energy when it was down here. That energy being, again, stop to think of what the energy is, continue when you're good. Kinetic energy, my god, you are on a roll. And you might wonder, well, why does it have kinetic energy? Why is this moving? Well, it's almost as though there were some form of collision conserving, wait for it, well, don't actually wait for it, answer the question. Yes, momentum, very good job. So we basically got an object being fired colliding with this, smooshing up, and from all of that, we can collect enough data to try to piece together what the initial velocity of the marble is. So in lab, your task will be to confirm that two distinct ways. One of them has to be by using our good friend, the ballistic pendulum. Another one has to be of some method of your own devising. Now, there's a couple of odds and ends to try to piece together here. One would be, what does this angle buy you? Um, it's a bit of triangle work, but I think you'll find it useful. And another is what kind of collision and what information do you need in order to act on it. So those are pieces that are going to be, you know, food for thought. Spend some time kind of considering them. But I believe you will find overall this is actually a pretty clean lab and uh, pretty interesting. So think and get ready, and I will see you guys in class later. Toodaloo.